Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and in today's video I'll be doing a video that I feel like has been circulating around uh, quite a fair bit recently and that is a video titled If all your makeup disappeared, what would you buy first? Um, I just want to preface this by saying that all of these products are products that I absolutely adore and naturally I mention them on this channel and I've mentioned many of these products on my channel before. So if you see some repeats, you might be like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, I know that one. Or you might be like, oh, why is she talking about that again? But this is the kind of video that uh, just really narrows down not only your holy grail products, but your products that you genuinely can't quite live without, the products that you know that if you ever lost all your makeup then you'd be repurchasing so this is going to be that video i'm going to start off showing you guys my foundation that i chose i chose to include the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte longwear foundation i still haven't memorized that i probably should by this point but this is a foundation that i absolutely adore it is a really good foundation i'm not wearing it today because i'm wearing another one i actually filmed this look by the way if you want to see this look and how to create it i filmed a tutorial which will be up either before or after this video but i will have it linked in the little um info box either here or here I'm not sure where it is or it will be down below or on my channel but uh, this is one I use all the time and what I like about it is that for my oily skin it stays on really well it provides me with a matte finish but it's not so matte that it makes me look dead and also the, the foundation shade range is so incredible like seriously Fenty I feel like Fenty Beauty is a brand that really knows their stuff um, almost everything I've tried from them is absolutely amazing. And a lot of the products I have mentioned that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a spoiler, are Fenty Beauty because I just love the brand so much. So this is an amazing one. I'm already on my second bottle and I'm just finishing this one so I have to get a new one really soon. But I'm just going to do this in order of face. I have a butter bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula one. I've already gone through one of these and I went through it in such a way that I completely just pummeled through the product. I'm not sure. Do I still have it somewhere? I think I threw it away, obviously. I mean, that's a good thing to do, right? I feel a little bit weird for pushing this in right after I talk about the Fenty one, but the one con that I have with Physicians Formula in general is that their shade range is a little bit iffy, especially with this. I mean, I hope that they update it soon. I hope that they're able to give this bronzer to a whole bunch of other people who I know will love it, but for me, this, um, particular bronzer is the perfect color for me. I wear it every single day, no joke. Every single day I'm wearing this bronzer. I have not worn really another bronzer in a long time unless it's been on camera. In case you don't know, I use the same product to contour and bronze my face. I don't really, I mean, I get people using like a different powder to contour and a different powder to bronze but for me that's just not realistic. I've tried it several times. That was long ago and I was like, as I was doing it, I was like, why? Uh, because for me it's just so easy just to use something like this and just use up my face and be done with it. So I use this every single day. It is my favorite and I love it so much. I've already gone through one as I said before and I have no doubt that I'll be going through this one in the same way. So next I have a brow product. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I've not had a chance to repurchase this. I was just looking at my lap and just trying to see which things I have repurchased multiple times. And this is not one of them. This is something that I bought and fell in love with and I've been using for a very long time and I still have product in here. I use this every day, guys. I'm at a loss to say how I've not used this up. I think it's maybe because I usually do a pretty light brow anyway. I don't like to do a very heavy Instagram brow. This is probably the heaviest my brows will look on a day-to-day -day basis. I just messed up my hair. Hold on. Hold on a sec. So this doesn't take me a long time to create or a lot of energy or a lot of product to create because I literally just go in with an angled brush and I just fill in some sparse areas that give my brow a little bit of a structure. So that's what I use this for and I like it because it's a good shade and also it's the right consistency and it has the right pigmentation. So it uh, gives me the uh, finish I want to my brows. It's doesn't uh, deposit too much pigment or product onto my brows when I first use it and it's just so 
easy to create a really natural looking brow with this. If you are someone who's saying that this is a product that will give you Instagram brows and there's no way to make it look natural, you need, you're wrong. <laughs> because I use this every day to create my natural looking brows. Sometimes I do admit they're not as natural as they could, can be looking, but you can use this to create a really natural looking brow. Just use a light hand and a little bit of product and it will carry you through thick and thin. This is by far my favorite brow product. I spent $20 on it about, has it been a year? I spent $20 on this about a year ago and I'm still using it. So that pretty much tells you a lot. All right, I've gone through, I think two or three of this next product. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. Honestly, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have not actually used this in the past week, but before then I was using this almost every single day and I think I've gone through two or three of these already. So this for me is a really good product because it is a really deep black liner. It stays on really well, especially when I'm, when I'm tight lining and in general, it really just works for me. The Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Liner is the only eyeliner that I can think of that has a similar wear time to this one. And that eyeliner is a pencil, um, however it is Stila, it's a higher end brand so it costs more than this one. It doesn't last as long because it's a pencil and not a gel in a pot. Um, in general, if you want something to last you longer, choose um, a product that's in a pot, like in, a, in like a pot like this or um, like this because these tend to have more product in them than um, a pencil product and those tend to and these tend to last longer so there's that factor and also the fact that since the steel liner is a pencil I can't necessarily use it for a winged liner so I prefer the mobility and the um, versatility of this liner a lot more plus it's just such a great price so this is the one I've been buying pretty much for a very long time. I don't know, has it been, I'm gonna, I'm trying to think, has it been two years? I don't know. But this is a liner that if all my makeup disappeared, I would pretty much go out and buy it as soon as possible. So when I asked myself the question, is there an eyeshadow palette that I know, I know is an essential for me that I know has enough colors and has enough versatility for me to be satisfied with if all my, if all my makeup completely disappeared, um, this is a question that I would have answered completely different just a few months ago, but as you can see, I've been trying to get back into color. So color was a big thing when I was asking myself this question because I want a palette that has some neutrals, right, because, you know, sometimes you want the neutrals, but also has some amazing quality colors. And when I was thinking about that, I instantly decided on the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. It was just... It was this. It was this and I had absolutely no doubt. This is a mini version, but you can get the full size version. I kind of, I mean, I guess now in hindsight it would have been better to get the full size version, but this was my first Juvia's Place palette and oh my god, it's so good. This has 16 shades and if you look, it has uh, mostly neutral shades down here and then it has some really high impact statement colors near the top. I just feel like this is an amazing one if you want a versatile palette that has some colors, that has some neutrals, and has some really good quality shades in it. This one is an amazing one and I use it all the time. Okay, so when it comes to lashes, I love using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This, I have Okay, I have gone through four tubes of this, I think, four or five. I think it might be four. But this is like my favorite mascara. It is so good. Okay, I have tried a lot of mascaras from the drugstore because, I mean, I've tried a few high-end ones, but for mascara, I mean, you use it so quickly and you only can use it for three months before it gets expired. So I always think drugstore when I think of mascaras. So I've t tried a ton of drugstore mascaras and I've tried a ton of L'Oreal. This has been the best. It it looks like a little bit clumpy when you apply it, but clumpy in a good way, meaning that it makes your lashes look so va va voom, and I absolutely adore it. I used to have to use, no joke, two mascaras, two, did I use three once? Maybe I did, I don't know, but I definitely know that at one point I was using two mascaras all the time, and now I'm like, 
no, I don't need to do that because I have this and this is pretty much the only mascara I ever need for length and volume. It is so good. It gives you more volume than length really, but this is my favorite mascara. There's really not much I can say about this except that I use it all the time and it is amazing. So when I initially drew up the list of all the products I would be including in this video, um, I only had nine and I was like, well, let's make it 10 because I mean, there's no harm in that. Uh, so I just decided to show you guys this. This is um, probably, I don't know, this is the, my current favorite lash style. This is by House of Lashes and it's called Noir Fairy Lights. But in reality, I feel like House of Lashes, especially with their lights line, has a lot of my favorite styles in general. So realistically, if I did lose all my makeup or if I did have it all disappear, I would probably go back to House of Lashes because they have some amazing styles that have really held up for me. So this is something that I absolutely adore and that I would absolutely get if I ever have my makeup disappear. So this is a Wet n Wild gel lip liner and I have two shades of this because I just, I do tend to wear red and nude lipsticks quite often and just interchange them. So the very first one is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout gel lip liner and this is in the shade Red the same. This is the one I'm wearing today because I was wearing a darker lip but in hindsight probably shouldn't have done that but this is the one I use whenever I have a bright red lipstick because it's really creamy, it goes on really well and also it stays on really nicely too so whenever I need a red lip liner this is my default. I wear this all the time and I've already gone through uh, one or two of these but this is my was it my third one? I'm not sure. But this is a really amazing one. Love it for lips. And then the other shade is the one that you guys see me use almost in every single tutorial. This is in the shade Bare to Comment. This is one that is perfect for me because it is pretty much like my exact lip shade. Uh, but it's a little bit darker, I think, and it's a little bit more cool tone. But it's pretty, it's the closest I've had to a lip liner that matches my lips. Something that I like to do when I'm having a really like down day, when I'm really um, not that interested in putting a lot of makeup on my face is perhaps put a lip liner on and, the, and then what I do is I like to put a little bit of lip balm on top. Or sometimes I just wear lip balm and that's it. This is my favorite lip balm. This is a Burt's Bees lip balm and I have several uh, sticks of these just lying around in my backpack, in my handbag, in my makeup collection because this is my favorite product. I feel like this is essential for me. Whenever I don't wear it, especially in the winter, it's like my lips are dying. <laughs> my lips are dying. So I have to wear this. My favorite red lip color was originally the Alexis Ren ColourPop collaboration. They had a liquid lipstick that came with that collaboration and I think it was, I forget what the name was. I have it right here. This is it and it was called Little Weapon and it looks like this. It somehow made my skin look so much more tan and I loved also that it really made my teeth look whiter. It made them look really white and bright because this has a little bit, like a slight, in my opinion, it has a slight bit of like a blue um, undertone to it. It's still red, you know, it's not purple, but it has a slight bluish undertone to it. So that really helps whiten your teeth whenever you wear something like this. So whenever they discontinued it, <laughs> I basically wanted to find something that was as amazing to me as this. And I found it in the Fenty line. This is the Fenty uh, Lip Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. I wear this a ton. It is really, really good. Um, it's, it's definitely a really beautiful red that works on so many different skin tones. I have seen it in tutorials and it looks beautiful on pretty much everyone and I love it. It's just so beautiful. Plus, whenever I take this out and whenever I show this to someone, they're always like, oh, the packaging is so beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, but it's like the product inside is amazing as well. So this is my favorite red and since I do wear red lipsticks quite often, I I kind of cannot do without this. Okay, next is another Fenty product. Are you surprised? Don't be surprised because this is my favorite, favorite gloss. This is a product that made me love glosses again. This is the Fenty uh, Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. It is so good. In the fall, I was wearing pretty much this lip liner 
uh, with this gloss nearly every single day. But the only reason I stopped wearing that was because I kind of got sick of it because after a while if you're wearing the same lip over and over again, I mean it gets a little bit boring. So that's why I started wearing red lipstick almost every single day. But that's another story. But basically this is an amazing gloss. It is lighter and not as goopy as some glosses that I've tried and some glosses can be like that. I actually have a funny story attached to this. I mean, it's not that funny, but one time I was wearing my Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick and for me, most of the time, whenever I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, especially when I'm wearing it for an extended period of time, I almost always need to have either a gloss or a balm to wear with it because I cannot stand having my lips feel dry for a long time. I cannot do that. No. I looked at my bag because I was like, oh, I'm not wearing gloss. You know, my lips are feeling dry. I don't have lip balm. I don't have gloss. Where's my fancy gloss? And I, looked, and I looked at my bag and I was like, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So I literally asked my classmate, hey, can I borrow some of your Fenty gloss? Because I know that she had some. She was like, yeah, sure, I'll let you have it. I'm like, thank you. You saved my life. So yeah, that was pretty much my story attached to this. So you know that if I ever, ever lost this, I would go to Sephora and try to get it back. And you know what? If they ever discontinue these two items, I'm going to have a hissy fit. I really am because these two but yeah so that was weird but anyway I just love those two products <laughs> okay see I feel like now I know that I have kind of an unhealthy relationship with makeup because I just was talking so passionately about these products so I'm like I'm like I need you I need you I love you I love you you're my best friend I have friends, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, rundown of my favorite makeup products I love so much that if I ever lost, I would try and repurchase immediately. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some good recommendations because all of these are my favorites. These are really amazing. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.